It's dinner time here in Bakuba, Iraq, and I'm here with the soldiers of the 2nd Striker Cavalry Regiment at Bob Warhorse. I'm going to take you to a location that I found quite delectable. Just come with me. It starts off looking kind of ordinary, and then voila. Frills, frills, and more frills. It's a lot better to look at some colorful things inside of the defect as opposed to the, uh, the brown sand and dirt outside all the time. All the frills the dining facilities back home are lacking. But how does the food selection compare? I eat crab legs every week and, and fried shrimp. You know, I don't get this back home every week. You've got a variety of meats, fried food, and fruits. And of course, there's dessert. It's rainbow sherbet. There you go. And in case quiet ambiance is more your style, then there's the Louis Armstrong room. Tell you what, soldiers can't complain about chow. Uh, they're not going to go hungry here in Iraq. I think I'm going to have uh, chicken cordon bleu tonight. And if there's any doubt about home cooking, here's what some troops had to say. I start off with uh, some grilled pork chops, but uh, I'll tell you, they weren't as good as my wife makes. Uh, nothing's better than home cooking, but, you know, for uh, combat living, this is good stuff. So if you've wondered what chow was like at Bob Warhorse, it's great. Reporting from Bakuba, Iraq, I'm Army Sergeant Kenya Krause.